Well, good morning to you. Thanks so much for spending a part of your Thursday here with us on CBS 6. I'm Jessica Nall, and you know our next guest very well. Well known for making magic happen in the kitchen. He's become one of our favorite chefs, and his presentations are very intricate, but the recipes are easy to make and super delicious. You know, we've done quality control. Executive chef Asar Ariank is back with us making some flavorful crab cake sliders. It is great to see you. Great to see you as well. We were just catching up for a second. You've been really busy. You've got yes. a, a, an up and growing business that's uh, happening with a special event coming up this weekend. Yes, the, on this Saturday, I have an event. Um, it's called a Magical Meal presentation and um, it's going to be entrees at a $10 so that it's very economical. So everybody come on out. 3011 Metal Bridge Road, Firehouse 15, and come enjoy, you know, the fun and festivities. I love it. Well, you, if you are a fan of the show, you've seen Asar with us before. So today you're going to demo these crab cake sliders. Yes. You've already got them kind of fully formed Definitely. here. Definitely. Um, what I have here is um, some lump crab meat. It's um, pretty much a mixture of some mayonnaise, some Worcestershire sauce, some Dijon mustard, a um, little bit of cracked black pepper, some salt, lemon juice, and um, panko breadcrumbs. I have red pepper in there and parsley as well. And once you put all that together, Asar, mm -hmm. you know, we've talked often on the show, don't, don't handle with it too much because yeah, it'll kind of break, break up. You don't want it to look like cat food. Yeah. You know, people, no. <laughs> you never they want handle your it with. and it looks like, you know, a little minced up meat. <laughs> yeah. And you definitely want people to see the individual chunks in, of the lump crab meat. You know, lump crab meat is pretty much, um, it's the, the back arm um, muscle from the swimming legs. The swimming mm -hmm. legs from the crab is, of course, the largest muscle on it. So that's where you get the lump from. Oh, good, strong. They yes, swim, they they swim, swim pretty all, ferociously, they swim right? They a lot, yeah. Um, they swim a lot. Once you form those, we haven't overhandled them, but then are you then putting those in the fridge? You want them to be in the refrigerator. You want them to get nice and cold so they can hold well. When you, you get a nice crab cake, you want it to have a little bit of pliability. If you ever get a crab cake and it just seems super solid, it means it just has a lot of breadcrumbs in it. Mm. So too I have much these, filler. Yeah, too much filler. So this is just pretty much lump. All right. So I've got some gloves on here. I'm going to put them in there, give them a nice air. A you hot hear that? Pan yeah, is key. you hear that little sizzle right there. You don't want to have these too hot because what will happen is the outside will get too dark and the heat won't penetrate enough to the middle to cook it all the way through. Wait, so say that again. You don't want it, the pan. You don't, yeah, you don't want the pan to be too hot oh. because what we're cooking it entirely on the stove top. Mm -hmm. You know, in the restaurant industry, a lot of times we're, we're rocking and rolling and we have tickets coming. So we'll put a nice sear on both sides and finish them in the oven and move on to the next ticket. Gotcha. But being that we're going to cook it entirely on the stove top, we want that heat to penetrate nice and slow so we don't get a burnt outside in the raw middle. All right, slow and low. Slow and low. But a little sizzle when little you get sizzle. it going. So you hear that, that little bit of sizzle, that's going to be perfect. It's going to be just right. So I wish you had smell-o-vision because I would like to <laughs> fan this to you at home. It smells really good. The crab, you can just smell the crab. It smells like a delicious crab cake. So yeah. slider, why the slider? Slider, well, of, of course, is very popular now. People eating, you know, small plates or tapas. And it gives you the opportunity to consume other things. You know, you say, hey, I may want to eat this slider and then maybe have a salad or maybe mm -hmm. leave some room for dessert. So small plates is something that's very popular within the industry because people are, you know, not eating as much. They're not eating, you know, huge portions of food. It's true. <laughs> I, I'm smiling because I just was on vacation and a lot, you know, did a lot of eating because that's what you do on vacation, right? <laughs> and those small plates do come in handy because you can share yeah. and get that great idea of like you, sa sa sampling and savoring. Yes, and you, it gives, gives you the opportunity to have some variety. So these are making the magic happen. What yes. do we have going on okay, over so here? Okay, so over here, um, I'm going to make a, a aioli. Oh. Pretty much, that's pretty much like a, a spread that you put on the crab cake sliders or on your bun that um, just enhance the flavor, you mm -hmm. know, make it better. So in the bowl right here, I just have some mayo. Okay. And I have um, some lemon juice that I'm going to add. Full test mayo, right? We're not like <laughs> they, dabbling deal. with any of that light real business. Deal. I have um, just some parsley right here that I chopped up. Put okay. some parsley in there. You got a fine chop on that. Yeah, really small. Then I have some um, cracked black pepper. Okay. And I'm going to just put some sea salt. It's done right there. And then what I'm going to do right here, I have something that's called a microplane. Oh, yeah, I know that. And thing. I'm going to take just some of the zest from the lemon. You only want to hit it like two times. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, that's it. And okay. if you go any further than that, you're going to get into what's called this white pith right uh -huh. here, and that's very bitter. So you don't want to get into that. So, you know, just kind of boom, boom, you're done. That's okay? just the pith. Just the pith, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the So we just whisk that together. Okay. Very now, easy, very simple. Do you make this kind of right ahead of when you're planning on... Um, 
serving it with, or is this one of those things you make and kind of let those flavors you meld? You let those flavors all meld and sit together. So you can actually, you can make this the day before if you mm. like to, because it's very simple, very easy, similar to the dressings we've made in the past, so it's very easy. Can I flip these bad boys? Sure, okay, well, right? be careful. Okay, <laughs> what, what's gonna happen? Oh, I see why. All right, get to the corner. Okay, ready, get it. There you got it. Uh, Here we go. Oh, I picked well, it up a little early, a little, didn't I? a little while. You know, he'll, we'll give that one a chance to get a little bit more suntan in mm -hmm. a little while. So we'll just move it up to six. Okay. A little bit more of a suntan. Yeah, a little bit more of a suntan. I always, you know, I always joke with everyone joining us at home, like, this is, you have your recipe, you've got your ingredients, but mm -hmm. you have to factor in for this magic. Yeah, it's this a little right different here, this, it's all, you have to be a uh, master of improvisation with That's this. Right. You know, you never know what's going to happen. So if you like yours lightly done, then yeah, I would have flipped it at the right time. Yeah. But that's, that's <laughs> still perfectly fine. It's, um, it still has a little bit of color to it and we could always make up for it later on. Now what are you doing with the uh, diced um, red pepper? Okay that's gonna be a garnish for the end mm -hmm. so we're gonna you know we'll make the magic happen with that a little bit later on. So this other guy right here I'm gonna try to. You feel like he's probably. ready? I feel like yeah. I, I'm, oh he is? Okay. Yeah, he's ready. No sorry. Oh yeah there See you that? are. See I rushed the gate on mine. That's okay. Um, you have a lot of folks coming to see you you know, that are that are joining us on the show, right? They're yes. coming out and, and seeing you for these special events and everything. It must be fun getting to meet yeah, the it's folks, definitely, right? Definitely, it's definitely interesting, it's fun, and I get a chance to interact with people, and then I, you know, I hear, I go to the grocery store, and you know, I'm out and about, hey, I saw you on the news, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I was at the gas station yesterday, Someone was like, hey, I see Channel 6, I see you on the other time. So yeah, it's, it's definitely fun and it's entertaining and I get the opportunity to actually interact with people and you know, let them know I'm just you know, a regular, ordinary person like you are. That's I'm just right. having to be on TV. What, um, what's their number one question for you with the recipes that you're making? Sometimes they may have a question as far as, well, I tried making that and it didn't quite come out mm -hmm. how it looked on the show and they'll tell me something they did and I'll say, okay, well, this is the issue with doing it that way. You know, you might want to change that, you know, and do it a little bit differently. You might want to lower your temperature. You might, you've overmixed that. You know, I just give them some tips on, of how to um, get past the, mm -hmm. the challenges that they're having. In the biz, that's what we call a live <laughs> appearance, Asar. You're just out on the town giving this great sage advice while you're out and about. That's awesome. So these are um, coming together. How long? Coming together. I would say about three minutes on each side. Okay. And you're good to go right there. And then, you know, so as those are going, you can, um, you know, move those over a little bit. And then we can toast the slider rolls. I just put a little bit of um, butter on them. Mm -hmm. It's already there. And I'll just toast those up. The cast iron, you know, does that bring a flavor or uh, something to the equation as you're putting these together as opposed I, to like a nonstick or something? Definitely. I think that cast iron, of course, it, they, you know, they call it seasoning. When mm -hmm. your pan is, you've used it a whole lot. It has a lot of mileage on it. And um, it's sealed, so it definitely has its flavors in it from the things that you've cooked before. You know, those, the oils and, you know, the salts and stuff that go into the pan, it definitely gives it a better flavor than, you know, a nonstick pan. Well, these smell delicious and would be super easy to put together at home, but folks can come out and see you. The event Saturday is going to be just a lot of fun. Yeah, it's from, it's from 5 to 8, and um, if anyone wants to... You know, I'm giving out some buy one, get one free tickets. If someone follows me on um, Instagram or likes my page on Facebook, on Instagram, I'm at Kitchen Magician Catering, and on Facebook, I'm the Kitchen Magician. So some lucky folks who um, go on there, like my page, or follow me, I'm going to, you know, message them and give them a, a buy one, get one free ticket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I follow you on the social media. Yes. <laughs> I like that. So these are, these are almost done right now. I could see. I can hear it. You, you, know? you, you are so in tune with it, you know when this is happening. Yeah, you can oh, hear it. Great. Yeah, these are, these are ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this plate right here. And the nice thing, too, is these are, you're getting these ahead of becoming hockey pucks, right? Like if you've gone to hockey puck stage, it's too it's far. It's too far gone, yeah. You, you, oh, you've overcooked them. That's yeah. beautiful right there. Oh, you see yeah. how that bread looks yeah, like that? Yeah, share that out that's so we can. That's very... There you That's go. what you're looking for right there. And that brings a neat like caramelization. Yep, and it's the, it gives it a nice toast and it gives you different textures. So when, I'm going to take this off now. This is good now. All right. You go, here, I got you. There you go. There you go. So um, it gives you um, nice texture and just gives you some, it's not the monotony of the same texture over and over when you're eating something, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it a little bit more fun to eat when, when it has different textures to it. Put these on here. We're going to wrap it up. Okay, so all we do and is... I would, I'd do a bite, but I, even I can see the steam coming off of that. Yeah, you I better burn do the your rest. Mouth. <laughs> I better Whoa. get... Oh, hey -oh. That right one jumped there. right out. Look how pretty that is. Okay, and then I'm just going to garnish the top. I have mm -hmm. um, some microgreens right here. Okay. Let me just put a little bit of those microgreens on the top. Love These it. are pretty much the, the germinated seeds of um, plants. 
right when they sprout. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a popular trend in the culinary world right now. And I'm just going to garnish it with some roasted red peppers. Oh, they're super healthy, too. So that's Definitely. A nice and then you've got to put that aioli on there. I'm going to share some information while you finish that up. Come on out Saturday, August 25th, from 5 to 8 p.m. for Chef Asar's Magical deal, Meal Deal. From uh, It's at 3011 Meadow Bridge Road in Richmond. We'll have a link on our show website by early this afternoon, WTVR.com slash VTM. Uh, you know, and follow Chef Asar on the social media. He's got that BOGO deal for you, so that's a great thing. Look at it right there. That's finished. Looks beautiful. Done. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it. Yeah, happy Thursday. We'll be right back with more Virginia this morning.